Hello and welcome to Perspectives for Wednesday, October 26, 2016. I'm Deacon Pedro. We begin in Rome, where Pope Francis, during his weekly general audience, called for solidarity with migrants and refugees. Today, the Pope continued his reflection on the works of mercy and reflected on two corporal works of mercy, welcoming the stranger and clothing the naked. Making reference to the growing numbers of refugees who today are fleeing war and famine, the Holy Father said that they are our brothers and sisters and we are called to welcome and care for them. In some parts of the world, said the Pope, walls and barriers are being built. It appears that the silent work of men and women who, in different ways, do what they can to help and assist refugees and migrants is being drowned out by the noise made by those who give voice to an instinctive egoism. The only solution, he said, is solidarity. Solidarity with the migrant, solidarity with the foreigner. And he pointed that this is a commitment that we must all make. No one is excluded. Dioceses, parishes, religious institutes, organizations, and individual Christians, we are all called to welcome our brothers and sisters who are fleeing war, hunger, violence, and cruel conditions of life, he said. Setting his text aside, Pope Francis then told the story of a lady, a taxi driver, and a refugee asking directions for the holy door. At first, the driver was hesitant to take the man, but afterwards was changed by the man's story. When we do something like that, initially there is some discomfort, a smell, Pope Francis said, but at the end, a story like this brings fragrance to our soul, and changes us. As to clothing the naked, the Holy Father said that it doesn't necessarily mean literally giving clothing to someone who's naked. It also means caring for those who've been stripped off their dignity and working to ensure that their dignity is upheld and safeguarded. And this, he explained, means thinking of women whose bodies are exploited by human traffickers and of the many ways people are used as forms of merchandise. You can read the story of the woman, the taxi driver, and the refugee at Vatican Radio, RadioVaticana.va, and for the Holy Father's full general audience address, be sure to tune in tomorrow, Thursday, following Perspectives at 7.05 p.m. East. And closer to home, on the weekend, the Apostolic Nuncio to the United States celebrated a Mass at the U.S.-Mexico border. Archbishop Christophe Pierre faced the steel border fence as he, the Bishop of Tucson, and the Bishop of Mexico's Diocese of Nogales can celebrate it with people gathered on both sides of the border. There was an altar set up on both sides, and according to the Diocese of Tucson, some 300 people showed up on the Arizona side. It's not clear how many came on the Mexican side. The Mass was the third one this year along the U.S.-Mexico border in Arizona. The liturgies are organized by Diocese Without Borders, which is an effort of the Diocese of Nogales, Tucson, and Phoenix to work together on issues that affect the church and people in the border region. During his homily and afterwards, in an interview with Catholic News Service, Archbishop Pierre echoed the sentiments of Pope Francis in regard to borders and the care of migrants and refugees, who, the Archbishop said, are all too often looked upon as unwanted and as criminals. Borders exist all over the world, said the Nuncio, and borders are not bad, but borders should not be just a barrier, but should be a bridge between people. Bishop Gerald Kikanas of Tucson said he was grateful for Archbishop Pierre's participation in the service. He told Catholic News Service that the Nuncio's presence is a reminder of our Holy Father's great love for those who are suffering and for those who are in need. Archbishop Pierre served as Nuncio in Mexico for nine years before being appointed as the Pope's ambassador to the United States. And that's all for today. May God continue to bless you and your home. <music>